Where's the optic nerve? Okay. Which one? Right at the very tip. I know it looks oh, grayish. Uh, okay. looks kind of like brain or nerve or something, that kind of color. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I will open this guy up. Okay, stand back. It does, it does tend to kind of. Squirt. Oh, there we go. It didn't squirt. We're great. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sometimes it like squirts out all over you. I think this is a sheep, the cow brains. Cow brains are bigger. Okay, so okay, so you notice a lot of liquid came out there. Mm -hmm. well, okay, as much as you can see. Okay, that's the aqueous humor. Okay, this thing, the eyeballs full of liquid, aqueous humor. The other thing you notice, okay, the jelly thing. Okay, that's the vitreous humor. Okay, that jelly-like stuff in the back. Okay, there should be more, but you know this is as much as is here. Um, the other thing that's here attached to it is that's the lens. Okay, again, like the cornea in life, it was completely transparent. Now it's been sitting in fixative for a year. Okay, so it's attached to the vitreous humor. All right, now, if we look in here, okay, you notice there's this kind of grayish looking thing, and then there's something colored behind it. Okay, all right, the grayish looking thing is. Okay, now what I've done is I've kind of pulled it forward. It's attached at one spot. You notice how it's attached at one spot? Okay, all the rest of it was loose. That spot where it's attached is the blind spot, and it's the other side of the optic nerve. Okay, so you look over here, and there's the optic nerve. All right? It's on the other side of this. That's what that attachment is. So this little scrunchy-looking thing is the retina. It turns out the retina actually does become detached. It's not, it's not really all that well off. Uh, attached inside the eye, except right there at the optic disc. And then the other thing, two things you notice. One is you notice that black, black background? Okay, so that's the choroid coat. 